a project today where I am inoculating three logs that are about five inches in diameter, green wood with the bark still attached, not older than three months, but older than three weeks, with shiitake dowels. I've got a drill bit that's the same diameter as the dowel. I've marked it with a piece of electrical tape so that the dowel will be just a little bit deeper. I probably went too deep. Into the holes in the log that I have drilled to the appropriate depth that I've marked with the tape, about five inches apart. For each row, and then I'll go two inches away and drill a hole in between. And that grid pattern will allow this mycelium to cover throughout the log. As long as it takes three to six months for these shiitake mushrooms to fruit. So I've just partially pounded in two rows here. You can see the spacing, one here, one here. But this pattern is going all the way around the log. I have carefully broken up the paraffin chunks that they sent in the kit into the big chunk into smaller chunks and I have this old Pyrex measuring cup that I'm going to heat this up in and get it melted so that I can daub it over the dowels. I'm melting the paraffin wax that came in the kit in a makeshift double boiler, a pan of water on low flame with the Pyrex measuring cup inside that water and it's starting to melt. I'm just stirring it with a bamboo stirrer. It's almost melted. I'm going to leave, I'm going to take the whole pan very carefully out to the back step and get started here and hope that the heat of the water in the pan will continue melting this or at least keep it melted until I'm finished. I'm going to use an old makeup brush that was kind of pissing me off because the goat hair was starting to shed and get in my eyes. Sorry Jaclyn Hill. So I'm just going to dip it in here and quickly brush it on to seal up every plug. This will help prevent the log from drying out so the mycelium have a chance to colonize and then in six to twelve months after sitting in a spot that's shady 85 percent of the time it should start fruiting as long as the conditions are favorable. I got all of the dowels waxed over in all three logs. Now I just need to get them placed. And I think the best place where they're going to be shady 85% of the time would be against the house, between the house and my hot tub. The hot tub's shading it from the, summer, the morning sun and it's definitely shaded from the west in the afternoon. I left them spaced a little bit apart in case I can't move them once they start fruiting. I'm going to need to get back in there and harvest, so I just kind of propped them up at an angle with space between right under the famous catio, which means they're not going to be that damp, so I might have to sprinkle them every now and then. Mm -hmm. 